Hey everybody, um, I apologize for the noise of the heater. Oh, it's turning off, I think, so we should be fine. Um, but what you see here is a Fasco heat cycler ceiling fan. Now this one is, I actually got this one um, from another collector. I got this one from Donovan, also known as, I believe his YouTube name is Elevator and Fan Enthusiasm or Elevator and Ceiling Fan Enthusiasm. I'll put a link to his channel in the description so you can check him out. Um, but he sold me this one. Now this was actually a funny story behind this one. This one came out of a lot of, I think, around 41 or 42 others, I've been told, um, of this exact same, they were this exact same fan matching and everything. Um, and, uh, they came from a church in North Carolina called Pure Heart. Um, I don't know, yeah, I, I can't remember what town it was in, but, um, the church had, like, they had a whole bunch of these all over the whole place, and they just removed all of them last month, and I think it was, um, Donovan and one other collector bought 12 of them. There was another a fellow collector, Eric Laird, um, who also, and an, a, a, he and another collector, um, Michael Schof, I believe, also bought I think 30 or something like that. And then there was a fourth collector, um, David, I can't remember his last name, but he bought the remaining ones, I, I think. I'm not positive on if that's like the correct, I divided them up correctly with who got which ones, but um, either way, they, they got distributed among a few collectors and now they are being sold out um, to many different collectors in the community and I of course bought one because I do have a heat cycler although mine is a different version and I'll show that to you in a minute I don't I've never shown it on a video before um, because of something an obvious defect that I will get to also in a minute but this one is a second gen model now um, you'll notice that this one's faceplate is the exact same as like the first gen Charleston um, so you might be thinking, huh, wouldn't this be a first-gen model? Well, no, actually, the original parlor fans had a parlor fan, or parlor fan, the original heat cyclers had a parlor fan faceplate. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so, the, obviously, the parlor fan came way before the Charleston came out. Um, so, it seems obvious that they would use the parlor fan faceplate before they used the first-gen Charleston faceplate for these so that's the difference between the first gen and the second gen. I always thought it was the other way around, but now that I understand it, it makes a lot more sense. Um, and it's really weird. The proportions are kind of off because it's a 36-inch uh, or 38-inch, 42-inch Charleston um, faceplate with 52-inch blades. So it looks kind of weird, but they it compensates with that really thick motor housing with that sort of zigzaggy sideband. I don't really know what to call that exactly. Some of people have said it looks like a Reese's cup, like the sides of a Reese's cup. <laughs> um, I kind of see it, so I think, feel like that's a pretty good description. Um, now this one has plastic blades, and despite it being like with the fake wood grain and everything on the blades, this was actually Fasco's industrial model. Now, of course, that seems pretty obvious because there's no nose on it, so there's no speed control internally. It's a single speed fan, like a one speed industrial, so you have to have it hooked up to a speed control um, in order for it, it to get different speeds. Um, and the namesake heat cycler actually comes from kind of like Emerson's um, name for the blender or for the heat fan, their original name for the heat fan, not what we, what we call it. But um, it was used um, on like factories in hot, with high ceilings, way up in the ceiling to reclaim uh, heat that had gotten trapped up in the ceiling. So that's why these were called heat cyclers. And you'll also notice that on the blade arms themselves, you can kind of see uh, one of them on the blade closest to the right there. Um, there's little sort of fins attached to the blade arms that help like scoop air through the motor housing to cool the motor, I guess. Um, very interesting. Um, like I said, no nose, so there's no speed control. I have it hooked up to the solid state speed control that 
one that I got with that white Evergo spinner last year. Um, anything else? Oh, this one is dated 1985. Um, yeah, and it is model C52. The C probably stands for Cycler 52, 52 inch. Um, now these also came in white. However, I feel like they're a lot less common in white for some reason. I, I've only really seen these in brown. I mean, I've never seen them in person before that I can remember, but I, literally when I used to look them up online, I would only ever see them in brown. Um, very rarely see them in, um, in white, but they did come in white. So um, I guess I'm going to start the fan up now. Um, oops, I kicked the camera. See, did I push you out of frame? Nope. Um, I'm going to actually start it up on low on the solid state variable here, just so you guys can see. But the fan does start up, or it should. It did earlier. <laughs> Hopefully it won't stall. Oh yeah, and the other thing, because these fans were installed like in a church and used for several years, they're not in the best of shape. This one's a little, it's in a little bit rough condition cosmetically, especially on the bottom of the flywheel, but the bearings when I got it were very crispy. Um, I gave them some oil. Let me bump it up a little. I mean, it, was, it looked like it was going to stay spinning, but I gave it a little bit of a little push and then put it back down. See if it'll stay stay running now. But yeah, the bearings were pretty crispy, so gave them some oil, and now it runs pretty silent. That is a very nice low speed, actually. Probably probably not even fully up to speed yet. Those plastic blades, I will say, these plastic blades are much heavier than the wood blades. I don't know why that is. Probably because the plastic is denser. Um, but yeah, these are very heavy blades, so that makes sense that it's taking a while to, to get these blades up to speed. And that big aluminum flywheel too. Also, this one works really well on the solid state. There's maybe a little bit of motor hum that I can hear. Slight cyclic buzz, but it's not, not really loud at all, honestly. I could sleep with this running on this control. But yeah. I think that these Fasco motors really like solid state, so considering they used um, solid state, actually the same cardboard box solid state control on the parlor fans, on the old parlor fans, before they came out with the very low. So that's getting up to speed now, finally. Very aesthetic. You could see if there was some like industrial building with like bare like warehouse ceilings that's like painted black and you just have one of these just spinning real slow or maybe it's just a few of them spinning real slow like this that'd be a nice industrial setting okay i'm gonna bump it up a little bit on the control I need it faster. So that's a, a pretty functional low, I'd say.
And one thing I did notice about this is it takes forever to get up to speed. Starting to see a little bit of breeze. Whoops. Forgot that I had this low in here. It's like a medium low, I guess. more see if I can get it to medium speed now there is a slight bit of wobble I do not want to bend these blade irons because the blade iron the blades will snap before the blade arms and I speak from experience okay, so that's a pretty bad wobble a little more. Okay, that's like, it's like a medium, I guess. Starting to move the air. Faster medium. And that's probably a medium high. Okay. Now we're getting pretty close to high. Oops, I'm starting to hear motor harmonics. That's high. And obviously, in case the sounds of all the papers blowing around isn't enough proof, this thing moves some air. Definitely industrial level air movement. I mean, it's an industrial fan, so not surprised. Alright, now I'm going to press the bearings and do a spin down. Bearings seem much better since I oiled it.
Okay, they're a little bit of kickback, so they're still a little stiff, but um, that was actually not bad at all. And I've noticed that my uh, plastic blade uh, white parlor fan also has a really, really long spin down time. So maybe it's just because these blades weigh the motor down so much. So now I'm going to do one final thing. Since this fan doesn't have a reverse switch, I can't obviously can't test it in reverse. Um, so I'm going to do a zero to high test just by turning it on the variable speed on high. Here we go. I don't know if you heard, I don't know if you heard, but it does have a little bit of a startup noise. Actually, going to show you guys the fan up close now. Okay, so here is an up-close view of the fan off, and you can see these plastic blades are plastic with this fake wood grain on both the bottom and the top. Well, this is the blade that has all the paint splatters on it, but the other blades are in better condition. Um, there's those fins I was talking about that are mounted underneath of the blade irons, but above the blade that I guess, scoop air through the motor vents motor housing vents, um, that big opening, and then this is the face plate I was talking about with that hump. The first gen Charleston's had this hump here. Um, and then the flywheel, like I said, it's in a little rough shape. Nothing a couple of can of touch up spray paint can't fix. I don't know if I'll do that though. Um, the side band, very thick motor housing, of course, because this is a very thick stack motor in here. Um, Blades are a little bit bent upward, almost like a Charleston. I don't know if that's intentional, if that's just somebody bent them up. Um, and then here's the top. Here's the tag. It is the Fasco logo, model C52, heat, the heat cycler, serial number, made in USA, and the UL listing. And then the date stamp is right there. You can't really see it because it's dark up here, but you can see it right there, 85 on the motor. 1985 and then there's a tag there this kind of I think this is a one foot maybe 18 inches long down rod so it's pretty long um, hangs pretty low but the canopy is a standard Fasco bell canopy um, it's a J hook mount of course um, yeah so then I was gonna show you guys the other parlor fan that I have here I've never shown this one on YouTube but if you followed me other places you've seen this this is the first gen model which has a parlor fan um bottom and top plates which are instead of having that hump they go they're angled towards the opening of the motor and they have the thick parlor fan vents that go all the way to the opening there this one's flywheel is in better shape but it's got this one i can't use because it's 277 volt as you can see right there, this one's actually going to another collector um, who hopefully can use it, but this blade arm is also stuck on because one of the screws got stripped. Um, but it also has those fins. That's what that piece looks like when it's not attached to the blade. Um, yeah, so pretty cool, but that's not what this video is about. Um, it's about this heat cycler. Um, but I don't think there's anything left to say about this one other than this is an extremely cool looking fan. I would like to put this one somewhere, but as usual, I don't really know where. Um, yeah, so hopefully, maybe I'll find some place to put it. I really do like this one a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.